Just so you know, the IBO membership, 80% uh, of the principals that are members of our association are over the age of 50. Um, and we've got a very clear message that there is confusion out there and there's need for direction as far as technology advancement is concerned. So certainly, Ed was talking about taking a risk. I think uh, given the fact that the bulk of our members are entrepreneurs, um, they're quite used to taking risks. Um, but I think they're more comfortable taking risks in areas where they have a comfort zone around the knowledge of um, you know, where they're trying to drive their business. So one of our challenges is to try and ensure that there's a bit more clarity on technology as we move forward. So we've certainly been doing a bit of poking around um, over the last few months to try and find out um, where we are and where we're driving technology. And it's been a very interesting journey. So our, our members are very clear with us. We have to help them understand the technology and the technology evolution. As we go into the marketplace, we talk to insurance companies, we talk to the BMS providers, we talk to other vendors. Um, they are also looking for clarity from brokers um, as to where to drive the technology. Uh, the main reason being is, as we've said before, and I actually heard a phrase today, and I haven't heard it before, but uh, I usually say herding cats. Um, I was, I was uh, told today that herding ducks was a good uh, phrase, but I'm not sure how ducks actually behave, so I'm not sure if that's a correct analogy. But we're dealing with many different businesses, so it's very diffi difficult to get a real handle on what those businesses are likely to behave at, depending upon what it is we're actually uh, presenting in front of them. So our challenge is to look at technology in the marketplace and say, where are we heading and what is it we need to do to provide steps? Now, one of the things that I found over the years is we're actually quite good at the blue sky. So we're quite good saying is this is what it should look like in utopia, this is what we want to build, and this is where it is. What we're not very good at is explaining how to get there. So what we're actually doing in the industry right now is making sure that we're working with all of the partners that we can. So there'll be the insurance companies, with the vendors, uh, with our brokers and our members to understand where we're actually headed and where we should be headed. If we can do that, we can provide some clarity in the marketplace. If we can provide some clarity in the marketplace, it makes everybody's job a bit easier. And certainly going um, back into Ed's examples, explaining how brokers can move from A to B to C is a lot easier. Um, certainly, we're probably preaching to a bit of the converted here because this is a technology conference, but there's a lot of brokers out there that do, that do need more direction. Um, I can say from our exposure to the industry, um, if for those of you who attended our convention and listened to the CEO panel, um, without exception, every single insurance company wants to help the broker network grow. Um, they're willing to invest in that. Um, certainly, we need to understand better the consumer expectations around the broker proposition, the value proposition, and we're committed to doing that. Um, but we also have to work better together to pull our resources together and try and help explain the path that we really need to go down um, as, as we move forward. Yeah.